Hey there, fellas. We're at it again with another experiment. Okay, I say we get right down to business. You've seen these wheels before. I think we cemented... Yeah, we poured cement into these wheels. We also welded a few bolts to them. These are basically trash. But we haven't thrown them in the bin just yet, which is a good thing. Okay, so here's what I have in mind. It's been a while since we've done something like this. I mean, using this sort of material. Check out what I've got here. An entire crate full of matches. Anyway, so the idea is to make a wheel out of some matches. I'd imagine it would go something like this. So first we clean off this rim, remove these shreds of rubber, get it to where we want it, after that we weld on a strip of metal, to get an even surface happening. Then we take a hot glue gun, and start slowly, carefully, I actually have no idea how long this might take. It doesn't seem to take that long when you watch it on video. But as a matter of fact, a job like this can take a few weeks to get done. Anyway, we're gonna be carefully sticking on those matches, while slowly increasing the diameter of the wheel. After that we fit it onto a car, of course, and try it all out. Let's do this. Making a wheel using 21,000 matches. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, fellas, we got the job done, and our wheel is looking pretty good. Check it out, with all of these matches. It took us not one, not two, and not even three hours to put this thing together. It was a long and tedious process, but in the end it all worked out. Honestly, it took a while for us to decide how to apply them, but we figured out how to pack them in there nice and tight, so... And now we mount it onto a car. After that, it's anybody's guess what'll happen. Let's do this. Alright, I've installed the wheel, and it is looking really nice. I like it. Now we obviously have to start the car, put it into gear, watch and see how it spins and whether any matches start flying off. It works! This car is a rocket ship! Okay, so the car is running. Now I can put the thing into gear. What do we got? Looks like it's falling apart. Looks okay to me. We good? Awesome! I like how the door is open on this one. Why is it wobbling like that? Check that out! It all works. We did okay here. Now I'm not gonna lower the car onto the ground. 
I mean, despite there being a ton of matches applied to the rim, they simply can't handle that weight. But there is one more thing we can do. Want to try guessing? Right, exactly. So we take a matchbox, rub it against the wheel and see what comes out of it. Oh man, the feeling you get from this. It's like kindergarten all over again. Or maybe first grade at school, I don't know. Right, I say we give it a try. You ready? Let's do it. Holy shit! Oh my god! What, that's it? Aw oh man. The matches might start flying off. Oh, I'll happily give it some gas. No problem. It's a bit too hot for that, actually. Right, let's put the fire out. We'll just leave this one here. That should do. Burn straight through. The wheel is completely blacked out now. It did take out the wheel arch liner, but no worries. You know what? I think now's the time. I reckon now's the right time to place this wheel onto the ground and see what happens. Let's give it a shot. Are they flying off? Let's go! It fell off on its own, that's good. The car doesn't want to accelerate. Okay, what happened back there? The car doesn't even want to move. The strip peeled off. Oh, I see. What do you know? Check this out, guys. That metal strip we welded onto the rim just fell off. We sort of loosely stitched everything together, hoping that it would be enough. Meanwhile, the matches are still in place. We should have just brought the car down right from the start. I mean, who knew? Awesome! Now those are some good results. The matches actually held up. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If we get approximately... Okay, so here's the deal. If we get 1 million likes on this one, we're gonna do all four wheels, and we'll go out and do some Ghost Rider shit. As in drive around with all four wheels ablaze, and we'll do it in the dark. As for this experiment, our work here is done. I say it was a massive success. None of us expected that the matches would be able to hold their own under such load. The metal let go, while well, they couldn't care less. I mean, they didn't even break. Anyway, you guys watch our videos, send in those comments and suggestions, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And that's all I have for you. Catch you later.